Okay, so we are back. Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to connect Facebook lead forms with MailChimp autoresponder. Super easy to do, nothing to it, and you don't need any other software, no Zappi or nothing. So if you guys are ready, let me show you how I did that. Okay, should be able to see my pointer on screen, so let's go ahead and jump right into this. But of course, like always, let me explain how the video is going to go. Okay, all we're going to do is just connect Facebook lead forms with MailChimp. It's totally free. I don't care what anybody says. It's not true. It's free. So many people think you can't do it. I don't know. It's just strange. But anyhow, it uh, it's kind of like a hidden process in Facebook, I guess. That's what people tell me. And there's one trick to it is you just got to make sure that your form fields match all the way through. I'll show you what I mean by that. So let's just go ahead and do it. Okay, go ahead inside your Facebook and then go inside the create lead form. You guys should know how to get around to that. That's where I'm at now. And all I did was click on questions and you can see that you can add a new question here and just make sure that the form fields match. What do I mean by that? I'm running three form fields, first name, phone number, email. You can do whatever you want. You can just have first name. I mean, you can just have email or if you want to take out the phone number, fine. But I have three, okay? And the same the same thing, you can see it over here that uh, whatever you do here is going to show over here. So that's basically it. So the main thing is if you need to move these around for the people who are new to lead forms, you just hold down your mouse right here and drag up and down. You can move them. If you can't move them around easy, just click here add new throw the one away that you're trying to do whatever super easy to do nothing to it so just make sure whatever you do here has to match on what we're doing now so you don't need the three fields just remember you use whatever fields you guys want but as we go through and we connect it to mailchimp mailchimp has to have the same fields that you did here i'll show you what i mean and then the same thing has to match when you go to facebook it's going to tell you to choose the fields they have to be chosen in the same order that you have here or they're not or you're not going to get the green light on Facebook and it's not going to work okay so let's go to step two now is going to be MailChimp okay we're on step two now as you can see we're right inside MailChimp super easy to do I have the same fields first name phone number and this one here email nothing to it if you need to move these around, you guys know how to do it. Just hold this down, click, and then a plus and a minus will appear. I don't want to click it because it just slows down the video. But there's nothing to it. If you need to customize your fields in MailChimp, go here to the right and just choose one of these. At the very top, it's going to say the fields to edit, edit the fields. There's nothing to it. Super easy. But you, you can see what I mean. I made these match. These match the same thing that is on Facebook. So that's it so far. So we're going to go to step three and that's it. Step three is the final one. That's how you connect it to Facebook. So if you guys are ready, just keep in mind, first name, phone number, and email, same order as Facebook lead form. So now let's go right into Facebook and connect it. Let me show you where that's hidden. So let's go. Okay, so we're inside Facebook. Go ahead and click on one of your uh, business pages that you're basically working with and you want to go to the top where it says publishing tools I'm going to point to mine right here publishing tools click on that and then you'll get this this sidebar and you want to scroll down so you see lead ad forms lead ad forms is what you're looking for and then click on lead setup so all you have to do tell me when you're there no, I'm just kidding just go ahead and click on there and you'll see what you have, what I have on my screen. My screen's gonna look a little bit different because it is up and running and we're on an actual client of mine. So I can't really show everything because some of the stuff's blurred out, but uh, you'll pretty much get the idea. Okay, so the first thing you guys wanna do is find your CRM where it says here, I've already chosen MailChimp on this client. The reason why we use MailChimp because it's totally free. If you guys don't know, up to 2,000 subscribers, and we use it as a CRM for the client. We show them how all the leads drop in. It's really cool stuff when you're doing SMMA agency stuff. Okay, that's what we do. Okay, if you want to learn more about this, I'm going to show you exactly how it works. But if you need to find more integrations and you wanted to see Facebook, because they actually have a uh, 
image by image uh, setup and they show you how it's done under here under CRM and on their CRM integrations page so if you needed to go there you can see how it's done as well but super easy so you just click find CRM I'm not going to click it because I already chosen MailChimp but if it was empty it would say type in you just start typing in or you can go through the big list don't go through the big list just start typing in the name of your autoresponder they're all in there pretty much i saw get response and a whole bunch of other ones the you know super famous ones so it's easy to do i typed in mailchimp bam the next screen you're going to get is api connect your crm just put your a api and bam just hit save because I don't have it on my screen now, so I can't really show you. And that's it. And then it turns on. It's going to say, you are connected. Okay. And then to go ahead and connect your form now, let me show you how that's done on this screen now coming up. So we are back. You can see right here what I have here. And it's going to say right here, connect your, link your form. Look, Click on the button that says link your form. I'll go back. Maybe I should have showed you a second ago, but super easy to do. So make sure this matches what you guys have. You can see how mine matches first name, phone number, email. That matches all the other forms. It matches MailChimp and it matches uh, Facebook as well. I, I, I'm almost positive it needs to match all, all three. I remember when I didn't have it right. Uh, one of them was off and I believe it was Facebook so they all have to match just keep it this way to keep it simple and what I mean by matching is the first name phone number it can't be like phone number and then first name it's not gonna work they need to match in the same order same order that you have them on Facebook lead form and your autoresponder they all match so all you have to do let's start with the first one lead add form choose your Facebook lead form whatever you named it you're gonna drop it in here Next one is your audience. It's called audience now. It says the list, but it's MailChimp is audience. Choose your audience on MailChimp, and bam, it's going to drop in where you see mine grayed out. These are grayed out because I already have them turned on, but just go ahead and choose that. And then it's going to tell you, tell you to choose your fields, first name, and like I'm saying, they have to match phone number, email, hit save, and then you're going to get the green button that I'm going to show you on this screen next. Okay, we're back to the screen here. You can see right here where it says active right here. And there's, here's the little link form. So when you guys get to this, just click here. It's going to give you that same screen that you just saw. I should have clicked that earlier. And that's it. You guys are going to, you guys are basically turned on. It's active. You don't have to worry about it. As long as you have it green, bam. Now, sometimes if you really wanted to test it, go ahead. And I don't have the testing uh, link up, but there is one link under facebook you can go ahead and find it just type it in in google it's uh lead form test lead forms and you'll see it come up it's only going to let you test it once so that's why i really don't i really don't like to show it because once it's tested it doesn't like to let you go back and test again it's going to say you've already tested so it's not even worth using you can just know almost guarantee with me at least i've tested many as long as i have the green active here then I'm ready to go. It's totally working. You don't have anything to worry about. So this is totally free. There is no nothing you have to pay for. It totally works perfect. And all you do is go into your autoresponder. If you're using MailChimp, make sure you set up all your autoresponder messages. So the minute one of the clients or prospects gets one of the lead forms and, they, and it's it hits them when it fires out, they get the immediate first autoresponder message from MailChimp if you're using MailChimp or whichever other one you're actually using. So we have like for all our clients, we have like 40 messages that we set them up with and bam, they're just fired out all the time. So they don't have to worry because you want to make sure that you're saying something to the client immediately. If you have to do it the hard way and you don't have this uh, set up, you're going to go back and have to download them all and all that stuff. And it just really makes a mess. And if you're not saying anything to the client immediately, as soon as they leads come in that's where you're going to lose them and they're going to choose somebody else so always make sure you have this turned on because they're going to get the autoresponder immediately the minute they sign up the autoresponder is going to fire out within the time that you tell it to it can either be immediately you can wait five minutes ten minutes or whatever you want next day but just make sure it just goes out immediately on your first one okay you guys don't forget if you want to find more information how i do all this crazy stuff Go to my Facebook group. You'll find the link on, on the bottom of this page. And we talk about a lot of cool stuff on there. 
it's a brand new group i'm trying to trying to get it going so just go ahead and click on the link and uh, join any questions you have leave it in the comments or go to smart profit money i'll go to my blog really quick you've been here before click here ask rob and i'll try to answer any questions that you guys have on smma training i'm going to show you all the cool things that i do and we can go back and forth of course and just uh, ask me stuff and whatever and i'll try to help everybody out all right you guys see you see you on the next video don't forget to subscribe leave it in the comments whatever okay see you guys